I'm Matt Holtzman from Orlando, Florida. I served one tour in Afghanistan with the United States Marine Corps. When you're in country, you wake up with an unparalleled sense of purpose that disappears the day you get home. Suddenly, you come home to all the news that nobody wanted to bother you bother you with while you were deployed. Uh, I'm just going to start that over. <laughs> sure. All right. This is the world, and I'm Matt Holtzman from Orlando, Florida. I served one tour in Afghanistan with the United States Marine Corps. When you're in country, you wake up with an unparalleled sense of purpose that disappears the day you get home. Suddenly, you come home to all the news that nobody wanted to bother you with while you were deployed. The friends' parents that died, the divorces that happened, the friends that were laid off. You come home to endless, unthinkable choices, like 30 types of cereal. Truly overwhelming choice. So what's it like coming home? It was frustrating because your sense of purpose is gone. It was maddening to hear the petty problems that upset civilians going about their everyday lives two weeks after your, one of your brothers was blown up. Um, I was in line for groceries one day, and some woman was yelling at the checkout counter about an expired coupon. And I wanted so badly to slap her and tell her about Lance Corporal Swanson that just gave his life for her security. Instead, I walked away, but I struggled for months with similar experiences. I was fortunate to have a therapist for a wife who was waiting for me with an open heart and lots of patience. Unfortunately, the mental health system for soldiers, sailors, and Marines was and continues to be woefully inadequate. The nature of the system ensured that low-paid, overworked, contract therapists whose contracts regularly are terminated to find a new flock, which leads to continuity of care issues, are the ones, quote-unquote, caring for the mental health of the individuals that have returned from war. That's a formula for failure that our society will live with for the next 60 years. 